So I recently decided to access medical cannabis products through the legal medical pathway and I just wanted to share a little bit more about my journey and how it's been. So I had my first appointment with the doctor and I just thought I'd go through what it was like, what happened and what products I got prescribed. So it was a telehealth appointment and it went for about 15 minutes all up. I think it was scheduled to go for about 30 minutes, but it didn't end up taking that full amount of time to go through everything with the doctor. So he started the appointment by asking what symptoms I was hoping to treat with cannabis. And he just wanted a background on the issues I'd been experiencing and just how they were impacting me day to day. So I did explain to the doctor I was there mostly for pain issues, uh, some related to a long-term lower back injury, uh, but also uh, some new symptoms I was experiencing in my upper back as well. In addition to that, uh, my sleep had been really interrupted and disturbed and I was noticing that it was having a really big impact on my overall um, my mood, energy, my motivation, and just my ability to deal with day-to-day -day tasks effectively. Uh, so the doctor also wanted to know about um, what other treatments I'd tried in the past uh, to manage these symptoms. Um, and he also wanted to know about the medications I'd tried as well. And obviously he wanted to know about any current medications I was taking just to assess for potential drug interactions between medical cannabis and pharmaceuticals, which is obviously super important. Uh, he also wanted to know if I had tried cannabis or CBD before. Um, and I decided honesty was the best policy in this instance. And I did tell him that I had tried a full spectrum CBD oil in the USA and that I really had amazing results from this product. Um, so he was super supportive of this actually, and he said it's great that I've tried some black market products uh, because now he has that baseline knowledge that previously cannabis has had a positive effect on me. Um, he, just, well, he went on to explain that the benefit of seeing a doctor is that they can essentially tailor products to try and achieve a better outcome. Um, probably better than what I could get by myself going through the green or the black market. So the other benefit is that they can monitor your progress and results and they can change products if they need to. So he did go on to explain that there are a lot of different medical cannabis products available in Australia at the moment. Some are Australian and some are also from overseas manufacturers. He made a few recommendations on products he would prescribe for my specific uh, conditions. And I ended up getting a full spectrum CBD oil for the daytime and a THC and CBD blend for the nighttime. So I was quite specific with the doctor that I wanted a high quality organically grown product from Australia. Um, he wasn't able to tell me whether the products were organically grown uh, just that they were manufactured in accordance with the good manufacturing practices. Um, overall, the appointment was a positive experience. The doctor was super supportive of my journey with cannabis, uh, but I did find there was overall a lack of knowledge sharing between doctor and patient. I think if I was a complete newbie to cannabis, I would have been a bit confused after the consult particularly in terms of how the products might make me feel. And this is specific to THC uh, because it does have the potential to make me feel high or impair me. So I think there is a little bit of a gap in terms of the knowledge that patients are leaving appointments with. Um, he also wasn't, to give me, wasn't able to give me a huge amount of information about the products either. And I did end up calling the manufacturer to try and uh, get answers to my questions. So the appointment did wrap up pretty quickly. Um, as I mentioned, it went for about 15 minutes. Uh, the doctor then emailed through the e-scripts so I could have them filled. Uh, in that email, he also included a titration dosage guide to follow. So that made it really easy for me to understand how much of the both products I should start out with and how much to increase by at what time intervals. Uh, the doctor also made some recommendations for pharmacies as well. Um, I did end up going to my local pharmacy and they did quote me $30 less than the other recommended pharmacies. 
So it can actually be worthwhile shopping around for quotes when it comes to filling medical cannabis scripts. Um, there is potential to save a few dollars by doing that. So in the next video, I'm going to talk more about the products that I received, uh, what I think of them and how they're working for me. Uh, so I'm just going to talk a little bit about the products I got prescribed and how they're affecting me, the benefits I'm getting from them, if they're working for me, and just talk a little bit more about each product in detail. Okay, so these are the three products that I have been prescribed by the doctor. So I have two oil products and I also have a CBD flower product. So the first one is the Little Green Farmer CBD 50. So this is a 50 milligram per mil full spectrum CBD oil. And it does contain up to 0.2 milligrams of THC per mil as well. The next product is the LGP Classic 20 to 5. So the, the 20 to 5 actually refers to the ratio of THC to CBD. And because this is a THC dominant product, it has 20 milligrams of THC per mil and five milligrams of CBD per mil. And the third product is actually a CBD dried flower uh, from ANTG. So I'll just talk about each of these products in depth a little bit more now. So the first product I'm going to talk about is the Little Green Farmer Full Spectrum CBD oil that I was prescribed. So it is the CBD 50. So it contains 50 milligrams of CBD per mil and it contains up to 0.2 milligrams of THC per mil. So I have titrated my dosage from a starting point of 0.25 mils all the way up to one mil and I've found that has been the most beneficial dosage for me personally. Um, I have experimented and gone up to 1.5 and to two mils and while I haven't felt impaired from the THC it definitely had more of a sedative effect the higher the dosage I had. So with this particular product it was prescribed as a daytime product uh, basically because it wasn't meant to have any impairment or sedate me. In fact, the doctor said potentially it could even have the opposite effect to that. So it could be energizing for the daytime while also simultaneously helping control um, pain symptoms. So just a little bit about how this smells and tastes. I will show you every time you get a medical cannabis product prescribed, you get a little syringe and it has um, very small dosages starting at 0.1 mil all the way up to one mil. So you can be really precise uh, when you're titrating your dosages up or down. So as you can see, this oil is very, very clear. It um, has very little flavor or smell, to be honest. It's, um, in terms of the terpenes, it's super mild. It actually has quite a creamy nutty flavor. Um, because of that, it is an easy oil to take. Uh, there's no overwhelming flavor to it or scent. It's very smooth, I guess, is a good word to describe taking it. Um, in terms of the effects, I haven't noticed a massive impact on my pain levels, but we do know uh, that some people need more THC in order to bring down the inflammation and the pain um, more effectively. So it also hasn't helped me with sleep, but it was prescribed as a daytime product as well. The thing that it has helped me the most with is um, bringing down stress levels and managing. Okay, so the next product I'm going to talk about is the Little Green Farmer LGB Classic 20 to 5. So as I mentioned, 20 to 5 uh, refers to the ratio of THC to CBD. This is a high THC product and was prescribed as a nighttime product uh, because it obviously has the ability to impair me and also sedate me. Um, and it was prescribed to help manage uh, my sleep issues and also just to help with those chronic pain symptoms that I have been experiencing. So in terms of this oil, it is um, quite a bit darker than the full spectrum CBD oil. And to me, it has 
more of a piney minty kind of smell to it and also flavor as well it actually smells really beautiful um, the terpenes in it are really nice and the flavor is really nice as well so for me this particular oil was very strong um, I obviously have a very low tolerance to THC so I started with um, an initial dosage of 0.25 mils which I took just before bed um, this seemed to be okay in terms of impairment but as I titrated up to about half a mil which is 10 milligrams of THC I definitely struggled a bit I um, I was I felt too impaired to actually go to sleep um, and it, it wasn't a nice feeling for me and what I have noticed with this product as well is that the following days after taking it I have had a bit of a headache um, and with the higher dosages that headache was worse and I've just felt quite groggy afterwards as well now if I compared this to a green market THC oil that a friend gave me I take two drops of that and I wake up actually feeling quite amazing the following day uh, so I'll feel super energized really positive and my pain levels have gone way down um, obviously the problem is I don't know the strength of that oil so it is difficult to try and ascertain as to how much you're taking and whether you should keep increasing and also obviously how it's made as well um, comes into question so unfortunately that particular um, 20 to 5 product did not work for me personally but we do know that cannabis strains affect every single person differently so what works for me might not work for you and vice versa and I have read quite a few reviews on this particular product as well and there was one person who mentioned that they had similar symptoms to me where they had a bit of a headache the next day and just felt a bit hungover or groggy um, the following day however there were also a lot of really positive reviews for people who have been using it for pain symptoms and um, anxiety as well and have had really good results so the final product that i'm going to talk about is the antg cbd flower so this is obviously quite a different product to uh, the previous oils that I've spoken about. This is a CBD bud, high CBD bud. It does contain um, THC still, but the benefit of this is there's such a high dosage of CBD that it does counteract the um, effects that THC can have. So this is one of the buds uh, that came in with this product it is uh, it contains 10 grams of uh, dried flour so when I first got this I was really amazed by the scent of this it actually reminds me a lot of lemon sherbet um, it's got a very strong lemonine um, terpene smell to it and that definitely follows through um, when you vape it in a dry herb vape as well so for me this product has been really great for um, going to sleep at night time and reducing pain so it contains um, 140 milligrams of CBD per gram of flour and 10 milligrams of THC per gram of flour so the doctor did advise me to start by vaping 0.25 grams of dried flour and then titrate up from there so the doctor also advised to avoid smoking this and to use a dry herb vape um, for health reasons it's much safer uh, in terms of having vapor instead of the combustion that occurs when you smoke so this product has been really beneficial for me um, I do take it of a night time because it does while it doesn't make me feel super groggy or like I just can't keep my eyes open it does definitely help with relaxation before bed and I have noticed that my sleep has been really solid if I have this just before bed as well so I am finding these two products this for day and this for night to be really beneficial overall um, for relaxation reducing pain and 
uh, for sleep, which is the main things that I wanted to treat um, with medical cannabis.